385 points in one FLL superpowered run, and you're gonna find out how. In this video, we'll be analyzing one of my favorite runs that I've seen so far for this year's first LEGO League superpowered season. If you like this video, please consider subscribing as it means a lot and it really helps out the channel. And without further ado, let's check out this 385 point run by the FLL team Brainwaves. The first thing I like about this robot is its smooth and controlled driving, because in FLL, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. I also like this robot's ability to solve multiple missions in the same run, because this minimizes the time spent in launch preparing the robot. I also like the backup plan for solving the windmill mission. This mission kind of reminds me of the tree mission from the City Shaper season back in 2019, and it's hard to tell, but from the slow and sturdy movement of this attachment, it looks like that it's using a worm gear. Worm gears are helpful because of how strong they can be. For this mission, here's a great example of using a passive attachment. Passive attachments are important to take into consideration when building your robot because they don't use a motor and can be super efficient and consistent. I also really like the wall square here. Overall, this robot is designed very well and I wouldn't be surprised if this team made it really far in competition this year, especially for their teamwork which I've seen in some of their other videos. Thank you to the Team Brainwaves for allowing me to analyze your run and definitely go check out their original video which is down in the description below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more runs analyzed, I would definitely recommend checking out this video next. 